So I learned an important lesson today. Basically, if you don't want your clinic to let your embryos die in a petri dish, then make sure that you insist to them before retrieval, before transfer, every single time that you go to the clinic, tell them that you want everything that's left over frozen. Yesterday I had one good blast and a variety of blasts that weren't in such great shape. Um, of course I transferred two that were really, really good. They were excellent, top quality. But the rest of them were varying shades of quality. And I found out that today the clinic decided to discard all of them because they didn't meet their criteria for being frozen. Um, I don't know what their criteria is, but I'm pretty sure that it's monetarily driven. They don't make as much money on frozen transfers, and frozen transfers aren't as successful, so it ruins their rates to have a failure on a frozen transfer. But what about my cost? It cost me a lot of money to get a fresh cycle with a donor. Basically, you need to be really clear that you want everything frozen, and you can't let them talk you out of it. When I called today, they tried to give me the blah, 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 bull story about, you know, percentages and chances that they won't make it because freezing and unfreezing is so difficult. Well, you know, I know a lot of people who've gotten pregnant off of transfers of frozen embryos that were less than perfect when they were frozen. The doctors just don't know. The science is, is not so far advanced that they can look at an embryo and say for sure whether or not it's going to make it or not. These were my lives in a Petri dish and they took it upon themselves to destroy them without contacting me first. The funny thing is, when I went in yesterday and they told me about the embryos, they told me they were going to make a phone call to me that afternoon to tell me how the embryos were doing and to discuss what was going to be frozen. Do you think I got a phone call? No, I didn't get a phone call. Today I had to call them to find out that nothing was frozen. This sucks. I haven't told my husband yet. I don't want to ruin his day at work. But, you know, on the emotional side, it also makes me feel, you know, I want to be really hopeful about this cycle, but it makes you feel like, man, I don't have a safety net. Um, you know, if the embryos that were in the dish didn't do that well, how are the ones inside of me going to do? I mean, really, at five or six days in, the embryos are much better off in my uterus than in a Petri dish. And... You know, you could probably leave the best embryos in a petri dish and you leave them out of the womb for long enough and they're going to start to deteriorate. You know, I, I really don't think that my clinic made a decision that was in my best interest. I think they make decisions that are in their best interest. And I'm making this blog to warn you and hopefully you'll be more assertive than I was at retrieval and insist to them that they freeze everything. I don't care what it looks like, if it's crappy, if it's not crappy, it's not their decision. You know, I, I've seen people say that they froze in less than perfect embryos that were not blast stage. They unfreeze them and they continue to grow just fine and they turn into babies on, on the second time around. Um, so that's my entry for today.